Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to do a quick review of this uh, Star-Lord Volume 2 jacket that I just recently picked up from a gal on Etsy. Uh, Star Seller by Elena, if you're interested. Uh, this one does have some customizations to it, just to let you know, and we'll go over those in a few minutes. Um, after the blast we had at Disneyland doing uh, Star-Lord and Rocket, I decided I wanted to invest a little bit more in... Uh, my Star-Lord outfit, and I really, really like the Volume 2 jacket, and so I started hunting for one. Um, there is no 100% screen-accurate Star-Lord jacket available on the market. So, anything that you buy, even the one from White Sheep Leather, um, isn't perfect. And honestly, I didn't particularly care for that one, and that one's almost $500. This one was $150, which I thought was a fantastic deal. So uh, let's go ahead and go over a couple of the details. First of all, this is custom made. Um, the regular jacket is only a hundred bucks, but I wanted one for most people that have looked at my videos. I have short arms, so the sleeves always have to be shorter than they're supposed to be. So this ended up being the extra large size. Uh, you do want to order one size up from what you normally wear and it should fit you perfectly. So I just ordered an extra large with 23 inch sleeves and this one does the job. Also for the venting in this section I wanted black to make it pop a little bit more. Depending on the photos, depending on the screenshots, whatever, a lot of times this looks like a very dark maroon color. Sometimes it looks like it's black. Um, this is the dark maroon over here. So this jacket does have that, but I thought that it would pop a little bit more to have the uh, shoulder pieces be black. And quite frankly, I'm very happy that I, I made that decision. I really, really like this jacket a lot. Secondly, uh, the color is spot on. Um, it, looks, it looks really, really good. And if you look at the, uh, the detail here, it's actually got some, some weathering or something. Like somebody went over it with like some black shoe polish and put like a little bit of uh, black in there to make it look like a little a little worn. Uh, the same thing here with the elbow section. So I really really like that too. Uh, the shoulder panels aren't quite correct, but they are really close, close enough that I'm happy with them. And uh, these straps here are correct, and the one here at the wrist is correct. This section not quite correct. Uh, there's supposed to be like a little strip that goes up the side of the jacket here and a couple of little snaps here at the top. This jacket is missing that. It's, is it kind of like this side? It's kind of like that side, but it's not, it's not exactly like that side. It's okay. different. But the point is, on this side of the jacket, there's nothing. So, something to consider. Um, the, the button section here is actually correct. And I do like that. I also like the fact that it's a little bit darker than the rest mm -hmm. of the jacket, which is the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the jacket that Star-Lord wears, it's got like the maroon and then the dark maroon, depending on where you look at in the jacket, which is what I really like here. This section is completely accurate. The section here at the elbows is completely accurate. The back um, leaves something to be desired. But from just about every Star-Lord jacket that I looked at, just about all of them have this wrong, except for the ones you, that uh, are being sold on like Chinese places on Etsy. And then of course you never know if it's gonna fit you right or not. So I, I steered away from those. But this back section here has, has almost like a shoulder harness section on it. If you look at what Star-Lord wears in the movies. And this one obviously doesn't have that. But I didn't think that was a really big deal because I'm probably just gonna be wearing this to Disneyland and I just got it for photos. Um, this is not going to be used for cosplay in my charity group or anything of the sort. Uh, I just got this jacket to have fun with. Um, I also got the vest that he wears in the first film. I ordered that from White Sheep Leather, and I'll probably be doing a review on that at a later date. Uh, I think that's about all I want to go over with this jacket. So uh, let's just try it on real quick, and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the jacket looks like outdoors. It's very overcast and nasty out here right now. 
but I thought that I might uh, at least show you what it looks like outside so you can get a better idea of the color and the fit and all those things. Like I mentioned before, this is a size up from what I normally wear. I'm six feet and about 180, and I normally wear a large. This is an extra large, and as you can see, it fits me pretty much perfectly. And this is generally the way I like my jackets. I think in the show, he actually has it zipped up part way. And uh, I got the shirt he wears too. Not the one he's wearing. <laughs> this is this is not Star Lord's shirt. Just, let's let's just be, be clear on that. But I did get the one that he wears uh, in the films. I got it off Amazon for like thirty dollars. It's a nice shirt. But anyway, this is the jacket. I'm pretty darn happy with it, and I'm guessing that the next time we go to Disneyland, I'll probably be wearing this thing. Or the vest, depending on how hot out it is. So anyway, that's my review of this Star-Lord jacket, one of the cheaper ones on the market that you can find, and pretty nice quality, and uh, overall good look. Uh, I'd say this is 90% screen accurate, which is probably about as good as you're going to do in today's market until somebody comes out with something better. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good day.